My name is Carla Nguyenje, and I'm a choreographer, performer, literary artist, and arts educator. The bulk of my training, formal training, is in modern dance. Uh, Graham Technique, I had a load of that when I was earning my Bachelor of Fine Arts degree from Brooklyn College. I started out as a street dancer, doing a lot of dance that people have names for now. We had no names for those then, because back in the day, <laughs> we just did whatever came naturally to us, and because it was something that we did as a community, there was no need to name it. But now these dances have names, you know? Um, uh, one of those is what they call soul dance, back in like the late 70s when everybody was, was working it back then. So I have, that's considered one of my specialties, but it is one of the most fun things to do because I not only show kids um, the, the mechanics of how to move, but then also I draw out their personal expression. And that's something that I think they don't always get the opportunity to do in school, per se. I tell them, show me you. And that's not something they always hear. So that's one reason why I love soul dance. And it reminds me also of what I do with my family when we go like to family reunions and weddings and all that kind of thing. It's the way we get down, we get together <laughs> as a family. Um, for Ordway, I do um, the Dance to Learn program. That's my most prominent uh, body of work that I've done with them. It's a comprehensive dance residency program where we provide services to chosen schools through, that are selected from throughout the metro. I think that the arts have their own intrinsic value. First of all, dance specifically is a wonderful way of becoming more aware of yourself as a human being, but then also becoming more aware of who's and what's around you. The process of learning dance, creating dances, observing and reflecting around your observations with others in a peer setting and also in the presence of people who are accomplished artists, so to speak, um, is a real, is a very, very valuable process. But what it also does is it uh, provides youngsters with what we call transferable skills, the ability to think more deeply, to slow things down, observe, and not just say, I didn't like that, I like that, but to be able to say, um, to be able to defend those, I, you know, those uh, positions by way of meaningful insights. Those types of skills are most definitely transferable to every single facet of learning that they will ever encounter. So not only do they have their built-in value, the arts, but they also have a tremendous positive influence on how kids learn academically and socially.